Hey guys, before we begin, I want to give a shout out to Savage Dude for suggesting this video to me. Um, you know, thank you. Uh, part one, well, I'll, I'll try to, uh, it's gonna be a series, so, they're on series. So, this is part two of the series, and the last video was part one, so you can probably find that on my channel. So, you know, uh, let's begin. Okay guys, before we begin, I wanted to give you guys a miniature tutorial. Um, so... Um, I'm going to show you guys the scripts and you guys can copy them. So I will link the, a model in the description just in case if you guys want to learn on your own. I will have this, um, for you guys that want to learn. Um, if you want to skip to a different part, then, it, uh, the timestamp right here is the timestamp is where we actually begin the tutorial on the GUI. So, um, you know, this is the, inside the scripts are where the location this should be. So this is going to be in main GUI. Um, this is the script in the main GUI, so you can copy this. I'll give you guys a minute, second. Um, just pause the video if you need to. Now here's this other one. This one is located inside main GUI, inside the purchase button. Again. If you want to. Now, the one that I'm going to be making is going to look different than this, but we'll have the same scripts and stuff. Same scripts are going to be named. So, here's the one in service script service. Um, this, this is where it's located, where it's supposed to go. Place this with your Game Pass ID. Same here, here, wherever it says Game Pass ID, replace this. It should have like this. I put that just to help you guys out. Now to edit this button, just drag it inside main GUI, and you can edit this as much as you like. You can move it, just put it back here when you're done. This can also be changed to an image label, text label, anything, but it has to be named show button, and it has to be able to, excuse me, it has to be able to go into a, a, inside a GUI. So, you know, that's what I wanted to say. Make sure you guys knew, um, th there will be a model in the description. Again, the one I'm making for the actual video is going to be looking different than this because I'm making this before I actually made the tutorial. I just had to figure things out on what to do. So, you know, um, let's go, I guess. Hey, guys. So today we are going to be making the thing, um, the button that shows up when you have own a game pass. So let's begin. Um, so, you know, uh, thank you for showing me this, um, the idea and stuff. So shout out to you, Savage Dude. Uh, thank you for telling me this. Uh, if you guys want to suggest anything, just tell me, uh, I can do it. So, you know, let's begin on this tutorial. So first you're going to need... I need a screen GUI. I'm going to name this GUI. I'm going to name it main GUI. So this is main GUI. And now we're going to put a local script inside of this. I'm going to name this game pass handler. I'm just going to name it that because I'm going to probably name something else handler because you know me. I always, I always like naming things handler. But anyways, we're going to make a text button named purchase button. And we're gonna. I, I like having my text buttons cornered with nice sharp corners, so you know. So I guess we'll just go black and then I'll just name this like purchase test. Gotham black. Alright. So, um, I'm gonna put a local script inside of here. And I'm gonna name this one handler. Um, now, uh, we're gonna put a script inside of here. Before we actually start scripting, we're gonna. Finish everything we need and want. Now I'm going to be leaving um, a model link in the description just in case, like you're too lazy to type all this out and stuff. But you know, it's alright with me. I don't care if you guys, you guys can suit yourself however you want to be suited. Whatever floats your boat, as they say. So I'm just going to put a lot of things out here. I'll just describe it in a second. Text button, and I guess we'll just call this show button. 
So, um, we have made a folder called Game Pass Need. This specifically, we're gonna make a remote event. I, I guess, yeah, I'll call it G way. Um, now this is our button that shows up. So if you would like to edit this, put it in main GUI and you can edit it. Just like drag it here and put things in it, I guess. I'll just name this purchase test, scale it, and then put Gotham Black on it. So, again. Oh, this doesn't have to be a text button. This can be anything that you could put inside of a GUI. Again, frame labels, take text label. Uh, well, no, you could put a script there, but I don't know why you wouldn't want a script. Uh, image label, text box, and image button. It just has to be named show button. Um, so I say we begin scripting. So we're gonna start with this script. Actually, wait. Let's do this script first because this is the main script. That's going to help us on our venture right here. So to begin with this script, we're going to do game pass, game pass ID. There's no local before that. So I'm just going to type my code in manually because I, 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 I don't know why, but my copy and paste isn't working. But we're going to continue game dot players. We're going to do dot player dot player I, I pressed okay i don't know why connect um function now we're gonna do a function right here and then we're gonna type player in these brackets because that's the person being added now we're gonna do if game um not game pass id game get service marketplace service and now we're gonna do uh user owns game pass to sync so this is just telling us if the user owns the game pass and we're gonna get the players Player's user ID. Uh, now we're going to put the game pass ID here, which is we made a function. That way it's easier for you guys. Um, and then we're going to do then. Now we're going to do game, get service, replicated storage, dot game pass need dot GUI. Now we're going to fire the client. It's not like fire server because you can only fire servers. And if you know, and you know, if you don't know, and now you know, you can only fire servers from a local script. Firing clients is from a server script. You can only receive on client events from a local script. And you can only receive on server events from a server script. So we're going to put something here. If you don't put player here, then it will not like work. So I suggest putting player here. It'll give you like an argument thing and uh, not like an actual argument but you know so i'm just gonna put print and then we're gonna do worked for and then we're gonna do space dot dot this is optional no part but you don't really need this placed on here uh because if you if you do you can if you want but if you don't then you don't need it it's just to tell you who it worked for like let's say you joined a game and it'll tell you like Someone joins the game, you know, someone owns that game pass. So, this script is complete. Now, we're going to go back to the main, this game pass handler G script. So, right now, we're going to do game dot replicated storage dot game pass need dot GY. So, this is the, what I was saying earlier, on client event. So, this is the client event that we fired from the server script right here. Connect function player now uh we're gonna do this is the thing that actually clones the button so if you change the name of the button it will not work dot replicated storage dot game pass need clone i'm gonna do a new line press enter clone button dot parent equals script dot parent so as you can see, that this script is done. It's all fast scripts. Um, we're gonna do game pass ID. Hold on. I'm sorry. Wait. Local game pass ID. 
local game pass id because if we don't do local game pass id it won't work so um actually yeah we're gonna do local player first this is game dot players dot local player and then we're gonna do local game pass id let me see if my copy and paste is finally working because i'm not gonna type that number out again uh, i think this is it i don't know um, so now we're going to do script.parent.mouse, but I want to click connect function, and now game, okay, I actually, yeah, game, get service, marketplace service, prompt, game pass, purchase. Now we're going to do comma player and then game pass idea. So, if you want to do something, which I'm not going to include into the actual thing, you could do if you, um, game, get service, marketplace service, user owns game pass sync, and then we could do, uh, player dot, dot user ID, and then we're going to type in the user, the game pass ID, so right there, and then, then and you could do that, or... We're going to do wait in this instance, because if they own it, then we're going to wait, because we won't show it for them. Um, You could do this. So, sorry guys, I just cut out for a second there. Um, So, like I was saying, if you wanted to do... You could do this. Just go ahead and copy it real quick. Alright. So, I'm just going to control Z all this. Just paste this, because I would like it. So, right now... We are complete fully. So this is all complete. And uh, if we do test the game, it should be working. Yep. So the button shows up. And just to show you guys what and we're in here, the button is not appeared. So if you guys want me to give you guys verification, I will add a zero onto this code right there, that game pass ID. And we're going to play the game. And it doesn't show up anywhere because it's checking if we own the game pass. And if we do, it'll give us the game pass and we'll just delete that. And then we'll zoom back. And as we see, we have the game pass ID. So if I would like to give give myself something or um, let's say uh, you could put a script in here and then you could say uh, uh, local player equals game dot player local player. Actually, we have to kill them. So, uh, we could do a local side kill script here just to, you know, verify. Script.parent. Mouse button one click connect function. Player. Um, character. Humanoid. Dot health. So zero. I don't know if this is going to work. It's it's a client end script. So, it, if, even if it did work. Okay. What the heck? I hate that new. I hate the new death sound. It, comment. Leave a comment if uh, you hate it. So you're probably wondering why it disappeared. I just forgot to enable setting here. Um, the setting is the. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Hmm. Reset on spawn. Where is it? Oh my gosh! Can't find it. Oh no! I'm sorry. It's in the GOA. Uh, yeah, respect on spawn. Just check that off. If it's checked on, the GOI will disappear. Just saying. So, as you can see, I die. So this only happens for the um, the player. Even if, if you did put a kill script in here, you would have to make this actual an actual script and not a local script. And then you'd have to put like player as a function right there and stuff. So, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it was a nice and easy one, so, uh, you know, uh, probably not the fastest video I've made, but, you know, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.